What's good guys, welcome back to the channel. I hope you're doing good and having a great day. So in today's video, we're gonna be doing something a bit different, and we're gonna be looking at the entire value of my current hype clothing and accessory collection, which includes things from brands like Supreme, Nike, and Palace. I've been buying and reselling limited clothes and shoes like this for a few years now and it has been pretty profitable. So I thought it would be interesting to go through all the items I've currently got for sale at the moment, see exactly what I paid for them, what their current market value is, how much profit I stand to make on each and whether or not I think it's a worthy investment to put your money into compared to other things out there like the stock market or a property. Now before we get into it, if you are new around here, welcome to the channel. This really is the place to be for all the most relevant information on UK finance. So if you want to know what are the best credit cards and bank accounts out there at the moment, as well as videos on investing, making and saving money, then this really is the place to be. So if you're not already, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below and click that bell so you never miss a video. And I know it is a bit cheeky asking before the video's even started, but I would really appreciate it if you guys could smash that like button, as it does really help me out with the YouTube algorithm and basically just enables YouTube to share these videos to more people that might find them useful or interesting. But with all that out of the way, let's get into the video. Now just before we get looking at the items, I just want to make it clear that this isn't one of those videos showing off a crazy £50,000 collection of items. This is just something I do for fun as a sideline project, and I don't take it too seriously by investing too much money into it. But the purpose of this video is to more just analyse the financials behind reselling, and see how much money can realistically be made from buying these items. So with most of the items that I personally buy, I usually tend to buy and hold them for at least a few months, and sometimes even years. I find that as soon as items are released, generally that's when the lowest profit is, as there's the biggest available supply with so many people reselling. So generally I find if you wait a period of time, usually the prices do go up, but obviously that does depend on which item it is. And in some cases, some items are actually better to sell right away. But having these slight variations in how you need to approach different items does just keep it fun and exciting. Now with all that being said, let's get looking at the investment pieces. So for all these items, I'm gonna be getting the prices of what the current market values are from StockX. So StockX is one of the largest reselling marketplaces. And one of the great things about it is you can see exactly what prices items are selling for on the platform. And they compile all this data, making it really easy to track your investments and see what the current market value is. But anyway, let's now look at the clothing pieces to start with. Okay, so first up we have this Supreme t-shirt, which is the Ferro Sanders tee in like a maroon color in size extra large. So I paid 51 pounds for this. Current value is 46 pounds in this size. So this one's sitting at almost a 10% loss. Next up we have the Supreme Shop Tee. This one's size large in black and it cost me 43 pounds. Current market value is 66 and that's a 53% profit. Next we have the Supreme Pillows Tee and this one is size extra large in ash gray. So this one cost me 43 pounds. Current value is 53 pounds. So that's a 10 pound profit and that puts it at 23%. Next we have the Supreme Mary J Blige tee, which is in black, size large. Bought this for 51 pounds, market value is 66. That's a 15 pound profit at 29%. Next we have a Supreme Anno Domini tee, size extra large in white. This one costs 43 pounds, current market value 42 pounds. So that's a one pound loss at 2.3%. Next we have the Supreme Yoji Yamamoto logo tee. Not sure if I said that correctly, but it is what it is. This one is size medium in black and it cost 55 pounds, current market value 55 pounds. So it's currently break even. Now with the Supreme Verify Tee in orange extra large. This one isn't an ideal color to go for what I would say, but this is all that was left, so I just went for it. And this one costs 43 pounds, currently market value is 47 pounds. So that's a four pound profit at 9.3%. Next we have the Supreme Honda Fox Racing motocross jersey, size extra large in red. This cost £143 and the current market value £148, so £5 profit, 3.5%. But I remember as soon as these came out they were selling for actually around £70, which would have been about 50% loss, so it's actually gone back into being a profitable product just because I held on to it for a while. Next we have this Palace Triphone tee, and this one's size extra large. This one cost me £45 and currently the market value is £72, so that would be a £27 profit and a 60% return. Next we have another Palace t-shirt which is the Tri Lager t-shirt and this is black in extra large. This one cost me £45, currently the market value is £121, so that's a £76 profit and 168% return off my initial investment. 
And finally, of the clothing items, this is probably the most valuable of what I've got at the moment. So we've got the recently released Supreme Cross Box logo hoodie in navy extra large. Now the Supreme Box logo hoodies are basically the holy grail of reselling items. These ones this year aren't doing so well, but there's still a decent profit to be made. So this cost me £163 and the current market value is £245. So that's an £82 profit and a 50% return. And to put that into perspective, some of the older Supreme Box logos sell for around £1,000. Okay, so now onto the accessories. First up, we've got this Supreme hand warmer. So I've had this one for a while and it cost me £39 originally and the current market value is £69. So that's a £30 profit and a 76% return. Now we have a Supreme ashtray, which I'm not gonna get out because it's a faff, but it cost me £31 and the current value is £61. So that's a £30 profit and 96% return. Now we've got the Supreme NBA wristbands. These were not the best thing to buy and they cost me £28.50 and the current market value is £28. So sitting at a 50p loss or 1.75%. And finally, this Supreme thermos flask, which cost me £49 and currently the market value is £46. So that's a £3 loss at 6.12%. So next onto the shoes. So we have these Nike Sakai's, which are the Nike Sakai Blazers size UK9. And these cost me £152.95. And the current resale value is around £230 in that size. So that's a £77 profit and 50% return. Next up we have the Jordan 4 Sashiko, which is size UK10. So these cost £189.95. The current market value is £221. So that's a £31 profit and a 16.35% return. And finally we have the Off-White Jordan 5s in black. So these are a UK 10 and a half and definitely the most valuable shoes I've got at the moment. And I paid £169.95 for these and the current market value is £731. So that's a £561 profit and a 330% return. So yeah, a lot of luck was involved with these but good investment. Okay, so that's pretty much everything but we just got a few skate decks left. So here we got the Supreme Smurfs deck in red. This one cost me £65 and the current market value is 115 So that's a £50 profit and 76%. Now we've got the Supreme Aerial deck. So this one cost me £55 and currently the market value is £53. So that's a £2 loss at 3.6%. But I think this one is definitely going to go up in value. And finally we have the Supreme Pink Camo logo deck. So this one again cost me £55 and the current market value is 136 so that's an £81 profit and 147% return. So there we have it, that covers all of the products I've got at the moment. So you can hopefully see from that that the products aren't always profitable all the time. And sometimes it takes a bit of time in the market and holding on to things and selling them at different times just to try and make the most money out of them. But with all those things combined, my total spend was £1,544. And the current market value of these items combined comes to £2,779. So that leaves us with a £1,124 profit, with the total percentage return being 72% off my initial investment. So overall, I don't think that's too bad. So if you want to compare that to an average stock market investment, for example, investing in the S&P 500, so on average that generates between an 8 and 10% return. So to get that 72% return, that would take at least seven years, approximately using the average. So overall, the question to ask is, is reselling a worthy way to make money and a good investment? So I think the answer really depends on what your circumstances are. So it can be a really good way of making money from a pretty small initial investment. And depending on the product, the return of the initial investment can be really appealing. And I think it is a really good way of making a bit of money if you don't have a lot of money to invest, so you can start with around £50. With that being said, it's not always as simple as it seems, and some items are just very hard to get, and there is a lot of luck involved in actually being able to get the items in the first place. Another factor is some people simply might not be able to buy the products when they actually are released. So for example, Supreme release their items every Thursday at 11am. So if you have a full-time job and you're busy at 11am on a Thursday every week, you're simply just not going to have a chance of being able to get the items in the first place. I also feel it's not really a particularly viable option if you have a large sum of money to invest. So if you have, say, £100,000 to put somewhere as an investment, it probably makes more sense to put that into the stock market or a property or something like that. That's not to say that you couldn't put this amount of money into investments like this, but it would just get a bit too complicated for my liking in terms of logistics. So whether that's buying the products in the first place, storing them somewhere, keeping track of all the items to see how your investments are doing and also finding buyers for the products when you actually want to sell them as it's obviously not an instant process in being able to sell a particular item whereas if you compare this to the stock market you can actually buy and sell instantly to be able to take that profit out in cash but all things considered am I going to continue reselling definitely yes I've not invested a huge amount of money into these items and I feel comfortable with the risk 
Having these physical investments also is a good bit of diversification from my investment portfolio, as my overall investments are pretty heavy in the stock market, so I think it's good not to have all my eggs in one basket. But the main thing that keeps me doing it is that I know that certain products are particularly profitable and I just find the overall process quite fun and I feel it teaches me some useful skills. I feel like I'll always want to be investing and reselling different products, even if the hype behind these brands like Supreme diminishes, as there's always going to be some sort of market out there where there is potential to make money from reselling, and it all basically just comes down to supply and demand, and being able to take advantage of price inflation due to limited supply and high demand. And we can see this with other consumer items like cars, watches, handbags, etc. Something that might actually affect this particular market is that the company Supreme was actually sold quite recently to the VF Corporation, which is a massive parent company that owns brands like the North Face, Timberland and Vans. So it will be interesting to see if this has any effect on the resale market of Supreme items, because it is quite possible that they start releasing items in higher runs and higher quantities to basically make their company more money. And obviously if this does happen, the items will become less limited and more readily available, cutting out the profitability of the resale market. But obviously it's impossible to tell what's gonna happen in the future, but we'll just have to wait and see. But there we have it. That basically covers everything for today, guys. And if you did make it this far, thank you so much for watching. And if you did enjoy it or feel like you learned something new, I'd really appreciate it if you could smash that like button as it does really help me out with the YouTube algorithm and basically allows YouTube to share these videos to more people that might find them useful or interesting. And like I said, if you are new around here, make sure to hit that subscribe button down below and click that bell so you never miss a video because this really is the place to be for all the most relevant information on UK finance. So whether you want to know about the best credit cards and bank accounts out there, or if you're looking for videos on investing, making and saving money, this really is the place to be. And also make sure to drop your thoughts in the comments down below. I understand that reselling isn't for everyone, but I'd really be interested to know what your opinions are. And as always, if you do have any feedback or questions for me, feel free to just drop them down below as well, and I'll make sure to respond to all of you. But with all that being said, take it easy guys, and keep saving.